Thank you, PCBWay, for sponsoring this video. I am legitimately excited for this. This is the Sunlu AMS heater here. Anycubic has heaters built into their Ace Pros, and Bamboo does not, at least not in the AMS one. So this solves my problem. Instead of constantly refilling this thing with the second, I can just set it at a uh, humidity I want, and it will fluctuate its heating. So let's get into this. Up. First thing we have, power cable. A bunch of what looks like little holes. I don't know what that's about. Else, that's it for the extra parts. Okay, what the heck are we supposed to do with this thing? Sliding vent cover at the uh, display screen up front. Apparently these are the hinges that come with it. All right, here we are, AMS heater installation. Empty the filament, close the lid, place it upright. I'm not convinced the Allen wrench I got was the right size. Just lift. I just lifted. All right. Remove the two pre installed hinges, retrieve two replacement hinges, and four screws from the accessory kit. That's, we're getting a little ahead here. Oh my. All right. Before we review this, I want to talk to you about PCBWay. If you need 3D printing, CNC machining, custom PCBs, or PCB assembly, these are just few of the services they can offer you. I've already used their services in upcoming videos, and the quality has been top notch. Upload your design, select things like quantity, material, finish, and more. New customers can get $5 off their first order using the link in my description below. Now that we have it set up, let's talk about how to use this thing. Not only is there a power switch in the back, but you have to press the power button here in the front. That took me a minute. Then by default, it'll run at about 50 degrees Celsius for six hours, but you can adjust the temperature and the time by the hour. I found that while drying the Sunlu unit and my own sensor do not align, but that's likely because Sunlu has theirs at the top, where mine I put at the bottom. However, after running for a significant amount of time and reaching 20% humidity, both sensors will show similar results. This can go up to 70 degrees Celsius, and I ran it at that temperature for a while, but I don't recommend you do. It feels safe, it got hot, but not hot enough to burn you before you realize it's hot. However, my 3D printed desiccant pods in the PLA did deform at this temperature, so replace any internal parts you have in PLA with ABS or PETG. It wasn't an issue until my AMS got a heater, so oops. I was initially worried that the manual said the vent at the top had to be open while drying, but you're probably also buying this to keep filament stored and ready to use, so wouldn't that let moisture back in? And at 220 watts to heat, would that get expensive? Well, yeah, it'll cost, but I ran a time lapse overnight so I could see how long it took to reach 50% and then dry down to 20%. And well, something like 12 hours later, we're still just above 20% humidity and we haven't gone above that. So while I don't have a number on how long your cycles will be, it seems to be pretty far apart. It probably helps. I'm into fall now and the air is cooler and drier, so your mileage may vary. I don't think there's much more to test. Its only function is to dry and maintain a proper humidity level, which unsurprisingly it does. Is it worth $120 at launch? That is honestly a steep price for what it is, but I have found it's worth it for the convenience. I no longer have to keep replacing desiccant and I can store filament I frequently use, so it's ready at a moment's notice, even if sometimes I don't print for multiple weeks at a time. Just as important, it's about the same height as the AMS lid, so if, like me, you have garage shelving at the perfect height to access your AMS on top of your P1S, then this will still work for you.